Yumma. Yumma. Ya Allah. Thank you. See what I feel. Oh my God. I'm a bit so sad. Okay. <laughs> Why wasn't I doing this from the start? <laughs> okay, let's just move on. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, before I start with the actual recipe, just a couple of disclaimers. Um, the outfit change is because this is actually the next day from when I filmed this video, but the whole intro was out of focus, so I'm just quickly refilming it. And the second thing is that I've had three people now um, very kindly write to me to tell me that my voice is a little bit too quiet in the videos, so I am trying to be more conscious of raising my voice a little bit more, but I can only do so much. Please just uh, <laughs> raise your volume. Sorry, I get that comment in real life as well, so I'll try my best to do that. Anyway, um, for this recipe, you'll already know by now from the title, but I've made these lovely cauliflower and chickpea and some mug onion wraps, uh, and I've just served it with a little side salad as you can see and they're super super tasty really nice and easy and simple um, but very delicious so I hope that you enjoy the recipe also this recipe isn't one of the traditional ones this is more of like I mean there's there's um, chickpeas and some mag in it so it made the cut um, but yeah it's not like a traditional Arabi or Arab recipe it's just obviously inspired by some of the flavors and that's pretty much it. It's really tasty and simple and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much and enjoy the video. Okay, so I've just sliced up my onions. I've sliced them kind of thinly. This is how, how thin they are. Uh, and I'm just going to stick them in this like Pyrex, py Pyrex? Pyrex baking tray dish thing. And I've already kind of broken up my cauliflower and given it a good wash. Um, just like so, but I'm just gonna chop up any that are still a little bit big. Okay, so these, this is the kind of rough size that I've went for. I forgot to say this is actually two cauliflower, so you could do half the amount if um, you don't want to make as much. So I'm just gonna stick some olive oil in here, probably like, I don't know, three or four tablespoons. And then some samag, of course since it's sumag cauliflower <laughs> wraps uh, maybe like two tablespoons or so I'm adding a good bit because I, I, I like the flavour but um, if you've never tried cooking with this before or if you haven't used it it's basically a lovely citrusy spice so nice uh, people normally have this with kebab um, which obviously I haven't had in a long time. It's not obvious if you don't know, but I don't eat meat, but um, yes. So I love finding ways to incorporate some mug into my food because obviously, like I said, I don't eat kebab anymore. So I get the craving for that some mug flavor here and there. So yeah, I'm just gonna give this a good mix. I almost forgot about salt. How? What would we do without salt, Beebles? Okay, I'm just gonna add on some salt salt to taste a good bit of salt I don't know that was maybe like two teaspoons or so and again just giving that a good mix okay I think that's good I'm just gonna stick this in the oven for probably about 20 minutes to start and then I'm gonna check on it give it a mix and of course I'll let you know how long it ends up taking so in the meantime actually let me stick this in first sticking it in the oven <laughs> While that's in the oven, I'm going to make a little tahini yogurt sauce. It's going to be really similar to the one I made in my last video, which was the fitted betanjan. Uh, so it's just going to be like tahini, yogurt, lemon juice, garlic. But I think I'm going to make it a bit more tahini-y than yogurt-y for this one. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you how I make that while that's in the oven. So for the sauce, I'm going to start off with probably about two tablespoons of tahini. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna do maybe like just like a teaspoon of yogurt. I'm just using this coconut yogurt. I've mentioned it a few times before. It's really good. I'm gonna start off with just about a teaspoon, like a like quite a heaped teaspoon. And then I'm adding just a little bit of sweetener. 
as I've said before, I wouldn't really recommend golden syrup, but I'm just using what I have. You could use like agave or maple syrup or whatever sweetener that you like. Just using just less than a teaspoon of that. Um, some lemon juice. That was just a wee bit, maybe about the teaspoon of a quarter of a lemon, but I'm just going to give it a taste at the end and see if it needs any more citrus. A little bit of salt. And I almost forgot, I'm going to uh, mince in a clove of garlic as well. Okay, so I'm just going to give this a good mix. I'll probably add in a little bit of water as well, just to thin it out. And then I'll give it a taste and see where we're at. I'm just going to start off with a wee splash. It's still a bit thick, so I'm just going to add a wee bit more. So yeah, as I always say, just taste as you go and season and adjust to your liking, but this is good for me. Okay, so it's just been about 15 minutes, but I've just taken the cauliflower out because it has started to brown a little bit, so I'm just giving it a mix. Can see. You actually might want to cover it with foil for maybe the first 15 minutes or so, um, but to be honest, I don't mind a bit of a bit of crispiness on the cauliflower, so it just depends on your preference. Like I said, I did have the heat uh, at 220 degrees, but I'm just going to reduce it to 200 degrees. I maybe should have had it at 200 degrees from the beginning, to be honest, but that's fine. I'll have that written down below in the written recipe. Uh, yeah, and I'm just going to stick this back in and I'll check on it again in about 10 minutes. So I'll see you in a bit. So it's been another 10 minutes, so I'm just going to uh, take this... Uh, cauliflower out and we'll we'll see how it's looking okay so that was about 25 minutes in total so at this point I'm just gonna drain my chickpeas and I'm just gonna mix them in with the um, cauliflower and onions and just stick them back in for another five minutes or so so two wee seconds okay just sticking those chickpeas in there that was like a tub, if you're using a can, I would say to just use the full can. Uh, and just gonna give that a wee mix. I've obviously just kept it really simple in terms of the flavourings, obviously just a bit of salt and some mag, but feel free to add some other <laughs> flavourings if you like. Um, that cauliflower masakhan by One Arab Vegan that I mentioned, she puts I think like cumin and maybe some other flavourings in there. so. Just have fun with it and try whatever you'd like. But like I said, I'm just keeping it simple for this one. And yeah, I'm just gonna stick this in for a final five minutes and we should be all good to go. So for the actual wrap itself, this is the bread that I would suggest, not specifically this brand, but just, you know, the kind of Lebanese style flat bread, uh, like rather than tortilla or something like that, I think. Something like this just works a lot better with the flatbread. This cauliflower mixture has um, cooled down just a little bit just while I was preparing a little salad. Um, so I would say to just let it cool down just a wee bit just so that it doesn't break the bread. Um, so I'm just gonna... I probably don't need to show you how I'm assembling it but I'm gonna show you anyway just in case you want to see how I'm assembling it. So just sticking a good bit in here. So I ended up adding a little bit of fresh chopped parsley into my tahini yogurt mixture because I felt like it needed a bit of freshness and I'm just gonna stick that on top there. And then actually I should have mentioned before I'm just gonna turn on my cooker because I'm gonna toast this a little bit on the pan just to get it nice and crispy on the outside. Um, I should have done that earlier, but I didn't, so it's fine. So I'm just gonna try my best to <laughs> wrap this up nicely, like a little burrito. Okay, people, apologies about the light. It's just gotten way too dark and we've had to switch on the the light light. Anyway, um, yeah, I have uh, put together this little 
wrap uh, with a little side salad and it looks lovely. Uh, should I do a wee taste test? I haven't done a wee taste test in a while. Okay, let's give it a try. The sauce tips it over the edge. <laughs> this is quite a nice, simple, easy lunch recipe. So I thought that would be nice to switch up a bit because I feel like my last couple recipe videos have been kind of longer ones when you've got a bit more free time. Um, so yeah, definitely let me know if you try it. I hope you enjoy it. Really nice and simple. And thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Take care. Bye.